Welcome to another video. Now this is going to be a short one because I just want to show you one of those things you need to know while you're going into geometric series and power series and infinite series because this is an infinite series. It's just um, you, you have your adding terms together that go to infinity but this question says when you add up all the terms together you're going to end up with precisely nine. Well the only reason that happens is if this is um, is a finite sum which you know to be 9 and this must be a geometric series or some kind of series that will converge. Now because we can calculate it it's most likely going to be a geometric series. How do you know it's a geometric series? You just need to test. Does it have a common ratio? That is if you divide this by this you get an answer. Will it be the same thing as if you divide the third by the second? Will you get the same answer if you divide this third by the second or the fourth by the, the third? You just want to be sure that there's a common ratio. And let's just see quickly, that's how you do it. Does R exist? So we want to find R with a question mark and our R is going to be the, the, this term divided by the previous term. So it's going to be e to the b divided by 1. Let's ask a question. Is it equal to e to the 2b divided by e to the b. Let's ask that same question. Is it equal to e to the 3b? Let's put a question mark here. Question mark. Is it equal to e to the 3b over e to the 2b? And the answer is, in this case, yes. Every time you divide here, this gives you e to the b. This is e to the b, applying the laws of exponents. 2b minus b gives you b. So we have e to the b. Here the ratio is also e to the b. So we have a common ratio of e to the b. Okay? So that's it. If you have a common ratio and they tell you that when you add up all the sums, all the terms infinitely, um, you're going to end up with a finite sum which is 9. Well, you just use the sum of a geometric series formula which tells you that the sum, let's write it here, the sum to infinity of a geometric series, uh, well, this is another way you can write it, is the sum of a series from, let's say, we don't know what the n is, but let's say n starts from zero in this case to infinity of what's the common ratio? Well, this is the common ratio raised to power n well, we know that the sum is going to be the first term a sub 1 divided, or it's going to be a sub 0 this time because we're starting from 0, a sub 0 over 1 minus r. Okay, the very first term in the picture you have divided by the difference between 1 minus r. Well, this condition only happens when r is less than 1. The absolute value of r is less than 1. So, do we know if it's less than 1? Well, we know excuse me now do we know if it's less than one we know it's less than one because it converges to a finite number only this only happens when r is less than one so let's take our sum so the sum to infinity which they've given us is nine is equal to the first term in this sequence which is one divided by one minus what is the common ratio well we found the common ratio our common ratio is e to the b. So it's going to be e to the b. We just want to know what b is. So let's do all the math. Okay? I have this weird thing I do when I solve math problems. I can just move this one over here. Okay? I can say 1 over 9 equals 1 minus e to the b. That is true. Okay? <laughs> now, what do I need to get? I need to get e to the b. Well, e to the b is equal to 1 minus 1 over 9. And what does that give me? It gives me 8 over 9. So e to the b is 8 over 9. What will b be? Well, for me to just solve anything that contains e, I need to introduce the natural log function, remember? So if I take the natural log of both sides, ln of e to the b will be equal to ln of 8 over 9. That's it. So it tells me that b is equal to the natural log of 8 over 9, ln of 8 over 9. This is beautiful. <sighs> Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.